What's up you guys? It's your girl Kai Samo and I'm back with another video. This video today is going to be a pregnancy q and I asked my Instagram to ask me some pregnancy questions, some good questions. So I'm going to answer them for y'all today. And if you're not following me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram at Kai Samo. It'll be right here. So you don't miss whenever I'm finna post a video, any polls or questions, you'll just be tuned in for real. Before we get into this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, subscribe to me, and turn on those post notification bells so you don't miss when I upload. And yeah, we're just gonna get right into the video. The first question is, how far along are you? I am currently 29 weeks pregnant. So next week I will be 30 weeks pregnant, and after that I will have 10 weeks left. So I'm in my third trimester. I'm at the finish line. I'm 29 weeks pregnant, which is seven months pregnant. Are you nervous about giving birth? Um, yes, very. At first, I wasn't really worried about it because, you know, like, when you're not that close to the end, you don't be worrying about, oh, I got to push this baby out. You just be enjoying the moment. Some people be sick. I was just enjoying it. Like, yes, I am nervous about giving birth. All I do is watch TikToks and YouTube videos about it daily. See how their birth plan was and what they did. How have pregnancy been treating you? I would say pregnancy have been treating me good because compared to all the other females that talk about their pregnancy, they make it seem like they were so miserable, so unhappy. I feel like I didn't get that end of the stick. I really don't know what it be. I don't know if it's the sickness, the emotions or what it is times where i get sad and i wouldn't say depressed but i get into my moods i have mood swings but overall i say i have had a good pregnancy and i just hope that these last 10 weeks go in a breeze like i hope that they be good too have you picked out any names yet yes y'all his name is set in stone his name is picked out we haven't even told the family yet it's a couple people that know his name it's gonna be at the baby shower so they're gonna know i don't know when i'm gonna come out to y'all and tell y'all but his name is set in stone the initials is c a c so anybody that try to like guess the name in the comments if you get it right i'll cash up you 50 dollars if you get his name right Next question was, what was your dad real reaction? If y'all know me and my dad, we have a very close bond. Uh, we're like best friends. A lot of people just know kind of how he is in a sense when it comes to kids. So a lot of people expected him to like be mad at me or I don't know what they expected. He wasn't mad at all. Um, he actually said he figured that was going to happen. I don't know what he was talking about, but that's what he said. It's like, you got a job, like, that's on you. Like, you done graduated high school, um, you got a job, you 20. It was nothing really for him to say. Y'all see my mama reaction. That was her real raw reaction. And y'all see she wasn't mad or anything. She was just like, I figured. What is the wildest symptom you had? I would say diarrhea because I really did not know that that was a pregnancy symptom. Like, oh, when I first got pregnant, I had diarrhea so bad. And like, throughout the middle of my pregnancy, it went away. But now when I eat fried food, I have it again. So it's like, the diarrhea, like, Toothaches, I done had like hella toothaches. Another wild symptom I would say is back acne. Um, I never really had back acne, but like when I look on my back, I like have like black marks and stuff. What were your cravings? Um, in the beginning, I was craving pickles and Kool Aid, but as time went by, like I guess I got tired of eating pickles, so I just stopped eating it. At one point, I was craving like tomato sauce, so I wanted ketchup. I was just wanting ketchup. Like anything that I know I put ketchup on, I wanted it. I wanted tomato soup. I wanted spaghetti. It was just like a tomato thing. Like, I don't know what it was. Now, I'm currently on ice bad, 
and I have never, and I mean ever, been an ice eater. But now I sit there. When I wake up in the morning, I want some ice for breakfast. When I go to sleep, I want some ice for dinner. Like, and when I went to the doctor, they said my iron and like whatever hemoglobin, they said everything was good. But I go to the doctor next week, and I'm scared that it's gonna be low this time because I don't know. Like, I just want to stop, but it's so addictive, and I never knew that like eating ice was really like an addiction for real, for real. Are you having the baby natural or are you getting epidural? Y'all, I plan on having the baby natural, no epidural. I don't want to get induced. I want my water to break. I want to go in labor and I want to have him naturally as can be. I just made that decision upon myself. I seen a lot of people saying that the epidural later caused back problems and stuff. And I don't want to go through that. I don't want to have back problems for the rest of my life. Um, my mama had me and my brother natural. So I know if she could do it, then I could do it too. I'm going to just try not to give in. Hopefully I don't give in. Hopefully I stay calm. Um, I'm going to look on TikTok, look, look at videos and see how they stay calm during the process. Because I know if I'm feeling overwhelmed, that's going to make the pressure and that's going to make it hurt much worse. Are you taking maternity pictures? Yes, I am taking maternity pictures. Y'all will get a vlog for that because I will vlog like a get ready with me for my maternity pictures. And I just might vlog like while I'm there and stuff. So, yes. Next question is, what is your due date? Um, I'm really not a fan of like giving out my due date. I never really told anybody when I was due. But I just say April. What was the dad reaction to you telling him? His reaction, I think he thought I was pranking him because he know I play just oh so much. He was like, you playing? And I'm like, no, I'm not playing. And he was like, you for real? And I'm like, yeah. He was like, oh, you pregnant for real? And I'm like, yes. So he really didn't believe me at first. But then like, once we got away from each other like that day and like went home, like he was like, you for real? Like you really? And I'm just like, yes. His reaction was good, y'all. He was happy. He was excited. He's still excited. So, yeah, his reaction was good. I, I already knew how his reaction was going to go. It wasn't, no, I'm, oh, my God, I'm scared. He's not going to want it. Or it, it was never nothing like that. So, do you ever feel the baby moving? Yes, y'all. I always feel him moving. He's always moving nonstop. He is a very active baby. My ultrasounds, he's always moving. He's never been still. They was like, you have one active child. Like, he's a little booger. Like, don't call my child no booger. He's stubborn, too, because he be hiding his face. Soon we try to take a picture of him. He was very active. And last night, it seemed like he kicked me the whole night. I'm like, dude, go to sleep. Only people that have felt him kick was me and his dad. Um, every time I try to get somebody else to feel, he stopped. And I was like, you know what you're doing, like. He just know, and I just can't wait to meet him because I just know he's full of personality for real. When is the baby shower and are you vlogging? The baby shower will be February 24th. I am vlogging it, so y'all stay tuned to that. When will we get pregnancy videos with you and the dad? Honestly, I don't know. I, I said I wanted to do a video like us uh, just doing a Q&A, answering questions. Or just a vlog type. Y'all don't know him, but he is very shy. He is more shy than me. And I just don't know if that's going to go well. Because I don't want him in my video acting like he can't talk. I don't want him in my video acting like he don't want to be there. Which he probably don't because he don't like being in front of the camera. So... That's just be that is just have to be like a discussion me and him have if y'all really want to see us do videos together. But I know like for the general reveal, I did put a clip of him in there. He's gonna be in like the baby shower clips, the maternity clips. Um I wanna do a belly cast video and of course he gotta put it on me. So he might be in that video. I don't know. It just it really just depends on we just have to communicate. We just have to communicate and see if that's something that we really want to do. Um, what's the baby planned? Uh, I get this question a lot. No, the baby was not planned. My mama actually 
asked that. I don't know why she asked that. But um, the baby was not playing, y'all. We was in shock, but we wasn't in complete shock. Cause at the end of the day, like you know what you be doing type shit. Like y'all, y'all see what I'm saying? Like you know what can happen and like the circumstances. So it's like we were shocked that it actually happened, but we wasn't too too shocked. So it's like, how did this happen? How did you feel when you first found out? Like I said, not like shocked, but not shocked. Uh, I was just happy, like, because I don't know. Like, I just feel like babies are a blessing. And, like, God just put babies in people's life for a reason. The baby is there to, like, mature you, humble you. Um, it might be stopping you from doing something you ain't got no business. Like, if y'all know, I was in the car scene, going to car meets, driving fast. Like, that life just probably wasn't for me, like, and that was just God's way of, like, sitting me down and, like, showing me, like, that's not for me. Because after I had a baby, I really don't plan on getting back into that because I don't even want that type of car anymore. I want a different type of car. But the car I want, you can take to car meets. Like, car meets and stuff is cool, um, but once... We get to the takeovers and the hot shit. I don't want to be a part of. I don't want to be running in front of police. I don't, like, I just don't want to do the hot shit anymore. Like, I have a child that I need to make it at home for. My mindset is totally different. I, I don't think how I thought last year in January. Like, I don't, I'm not 2023 me. Like, I think totally different. And I just feel like the baby saved me from that, like. Even though I never did too much in the car scene, like, it's no telling what could happen. Like, they're trying to stop stuff. They're trying to put out spikes. They trying to put Rico on folks. That's not the route I want to take. So, God just stopped me from that, basically. I got off track, but basically I was just happy and I was just blessed. And I still am blessed. So, are you going to breastfeed? I plan on it. Um, my mom told me just go ahead and just give it a try just to say that I tried it, but I don't know how long I'm going to do it. Maybe for three to six months and then stop. But I do want to rotate between, oh my God, my nose is itchy. I do want to rotate between formula and breast milk. See, I don't want to breastfeed. I don't want the baby to suck my nipple. Like, I don't want that. I want to actually pump. So... I, he, he would be getting fed breast milk, but he won't be breastfed, if that makes sense. So, yeah, that's what I want to do. But I know you have to have, like, a good milk supply. You got to be healthy. You got to eat right. You got to take certain pills and stuff. And I'm not a real good pill taker. So, it's all about the process. And we just going to see how it goes. But I'm actually, I'm going to try it. Like, what is the hardest part about being pregnant? Not being able to do what you did before. You got to be cautious. I'm very independent in a sense. Like, for example, my room. Um, I like to change around my room a lot. Like, you can't push heavy things. You can't lift heavy things. You can't even be bending or stretching to get something. So, it's like that is, like, the hardest part about pregnancy because you, you got to ask for help. Like, you can't be scared to ask for help. And that's something I struggle with. I don't like asking for help. The emotions, the mood swings. Sometimes you don't want to be de dealing with people and they don't understand. They think you're crazy or they just think you just being weird when really you just don't want to be bothered for real. Like, rather, like, be to yourself that day type. So, that'd be the hardest part for me. Um, your clothes, you can't really fit all your clothes anymore. Um, it ain't really hard for me because like, I can still really fit most of my clothes. And I got pregnant during the cold time. So a hoodie and some sweatpants, that's perfect. How are you dealing with changes to your body? I am dealing with it very good, better than I thought. Y'all, I actually got stretch marks on my belly. And if y'all know, I have always said that I never want, like, I don't want stretch marks on my belly, that I was going to oil it up every single day. But I'm just here to tell y'all, it don't matter how much oil you put on your stomach, you're going to get them. Like, some people are lucky and they just don't get them. And they say it's hereditary, I don't know, but... 
for me, I definitely got them and I was oiling my stomach every single day and night, exfoliating, scrub, all that. And I was like, how they look, it's not going to be bad when I give, give birth. Like, when I go to snap back, they're not going to look terrible because I don't have a lot. They're not just all the way up here. Like, they're not just dark. So, I just know it's going to be okay. But I'm just take like it don't really bother me because i just know that i have a child and like that's really the only thing i'm worrying about like at first i was worrying about my body changing i'm not worrying about that no more i'm really worried about my son like i'm just as long as he's healthy i don't give a damn okay and this is the last question and it says were you upset that it's a boy no y'all i was not upset that it was a boy even though y'all seen in the video i was team girl what's crazy is all my life i have always said i wanted a boy first and as soon as i got pregnant i started saying a girl but i was not um i wasn't upset at all like, i was just happy i used to tell people like it really don't matter what i get but if i get a girl like I just get a girl, but if I get a boy, I just get a boy. Like, it really didn't matter at the end of the day because the baby's still going to be blessed. It's still going to be cute. Like, it, it really didn't matter to me. They say boys are mama, mama boys anyway. So, I'm excited for that. And, yeah, it might just be easier. I don't even know. Like, it might just be easier than a girl because I know two attitudes is a lot. I kind of have tomboyish ways, so I just feel like, a boy just going to fit me better anyway. So, no, I wasn't upset. The thing is, I had an ultrasound appointment the week of my gender reveal. And she actually slipped up and told me that it was a boy. So, I already had in my head that it was a boy anyway. I told him about me and the dad. We just kept it to ourselves. But we heard her say he. So, we knew it was a boy. But, y'all, this is going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys like this video. Comment on this video and give me more video suggestions because I am open to all video suggestions. Let me know some pranks to do because I want to start by doing pranks. I want to spice my channel up. Subscribe to me if you're not subscribed. Turn those post notification bells. And yeah, we out you.